Hey, what's up guys? Christopher Walker back again. I'm going to be discussing some of the health benefits uh, related to zinc consumption here in this video. We're going to go through quite a few of them. Uh, zinc is awesome. I mean, zinc, for those of you who don't know, zinc is, is uh, essential for a lot of bodily functions, you know, many, many different bodily functions. So when you're deficient in it, uh, you start to run into health issues and those can kind of cascade and get more and more serious. But what we're going to talk about today, in another video I did, uh, basically signs of a zinc deficiency. So if you want to go check that out, uh, if you're interested in zinc deficiencies, that's all over there. But in this video, we're going to discuss the benefits of not being zinc deficient, actually having healthy levels of zinc, um, potentially supplementing with extra zinc or eating foods that contain zinc so you can really get enough of it in your system. And the first one is that zinc helps with muscle growth and it also helps with in muscle recovery. So it plays a big role in cell division and cell growth. So it basically make, makes it possible for the body to heal itself and maintain the strength in the muscular and skeletal systems. It helps with the release of testosterone, helps with the release of growth hormone and insulin like growth factor IGF-1. Uh, when you're producing all these things naturally, you're going to be able to build a really good amount of solid muscle. So you wanna make sure that your zinc stores are topped off for that reason. Now the next reason, the second reason, is that zinc is good for your liver. So it's actually been shown to reduce the incidence of infection and uh, it's correlated with lower levels of liver damage. It can basically, if, if you have problems with your liver, it can help, supplementing with extra zinc is gonna help to uh, reduce the free radical damage and help increase nutrient absorption in that sense. So if you need to do some work on your liver, maybe you have you know cirrhosis issue or problems with uh, fatty liver, uh, I would also just suggest measuring your zinc levels because you're likely deficient in zinc and you need to uh, kind of top that back up and correct the deficiency. Uh, the next one, like I just mentioned, but number three is uh, that it helps with digestion and, and nutrient absorption. So basically zinc is going to affect the protein synthesis and it's required by the body to use amino acids that we're getting from foods. So basically it's going to help you break down the proteins. It's going to help you break down the carbohydrates and uh, it's going to help you kind of convert everything into uh, the necessary things down the road, whether, whether it's a hormone or that sort of thing, or, you know, enzymes. So the, the nutrient absorption uh, assistance that zinc is going to give you is actually really, really beneficial. And you, you have, you know, one of the symptoms that I talked about in, in the uh, symptoms of zinc deficiency video was that uh, there's, there's uh, kind of these gut issues that, that are involved if you are de deficient in zinc. So if you're interested in that video, go check it out. Uh, now, the, the next one on the list, number four, is that zinc is it benefits your fertility. So studies have shown that it plays a massively important role in fertility, both men and women. And this is typically through its role in your hormonal health. So for men, it's gonna be a lot of, you know, your testosterone production revolves around the levels of zinc in your body. Uh, and it's actually been shown in, in men that zinc restriction or deficiency in otherwise healthy men is associated with a massive drop, significant drop in testosterone co concentration, testosterone levels in general, which eventually impacts fertility and make, it will make you impotent. Basically, if you have very low testosterone, your fertility is done. So you need to uh, make sure that you have a very healthy level of testosterone and zinc plays a massive role in that. In, it's not just for men, like I said, impacts women's fertility too because it's been shown in research that the, that adequate levels of zinc are necessary uh, during the process of the, in a, you know, a woman's eggs. So that is very important. Uh, make sure you're not deficient in zinc. So uh, the next one on the list is that it helps with, it's actually been uh, shown to, to really help people improve the kind of the insulin process and imp improve insulin um, resistance in diabetics. So people, you know, basically if uh, in a, a lot of diabetics, a lot of type two diabetics are deficient in many, many things. So addressing that deficiency, it's not only gonna help with all these other these other benefits, like I'm saying, but it's going to definitely help with your ability to, to handle insulin properly. And it's going to help with the health of your pancreas. So you wanna make sure that your zinc levels are topped up, like I said. Now the next one on the list goes hand in hand with everything really here. Remember the body is a system, is uh, your hormonal health. The benefits are massive for correcting any kind of zinc deficiency to improve your hormonal health. It's one of the key things. That's why in Testro X we included it alongside magnesium as one of the key minerals in there. Make sure you're not deficient in it. 
And last but not least is that zinc has actually been shown and, and it's been widely known and sold as uh, a remedy for immunity and for a remedy for fighting colds uh, and any kind of like immune attack on your body. So it's super helpful to make sure that uh, your zinc levels are topped up if you're not trying to get sick every year. You know, people go in these cycles every year where they, they do get sick. Uh, it has the ability to exert an antiviral effect but basically what it does is it attaches to the receptors in the nasal epithelial cells and it blocks the effect of any virus on that area. So, you know, a lot of the nasal epithelial cells are what are triggered with, you know, a cold. So I get a big runny nose, that sort of thing, kind of inflamed skin. Um, there, was a, there was actually a study done in India, the Medical Education Center, that found that zinc that was administered within 24 hours of an onset of a cold, that basically the symptoms were significantly reduced compared to a control group that didn't have the zinc. So that's why you see a lot of these, uh, and that, that basically was over a period of about five days. So what you see is you see a lot of things in that you can go buy at a pharmacy that are you know natural cold remedies, they actually contain zinc, and that's actually for a good reason, and they'll likely work for you. So there you have it. Those are the top health benefits of uh, zinc. You want to make sure you're not deficient. This is one of the most important minerals to have at a good level in your body for many, many reasons like I just talked about in this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.